Okay, here's a short video on writing a system of node voltage equations. Okay, so on an exam, I would give you the reference node, so let's put that down here, and I would give you, let's call this node VA, and this node VB. Okay, <clears throat> so I'm going to copy this so we can write over it and erase it. Okay, copy and paste this back. Okay, so I want to write the node equations at node VA and VB. Uh, so let's consider first VA. All right, so what I'm going to do on your exam page, I'm going to expect to see currents referenced out I1, I2, and I3. And I know that I1 plus I2 plus I3 equals zero. All right. Then it's just a matter of figuring out what is I1. <clears throat> and this one's a, you know, a little bit of a curveball because this 2 amp source means this 3 ohm resistor, you know, it could have been 10 ohms or whatever. It's not going to affect the current. No matter what, this current source puts 2 amps on that branch. So I1 is minus 2. That resistor is not really, it's, it's in a way, it's a red herring. Okay? All right. Then, to get I2, this voltage, remember, is 0. That's the reference. So this dot right in front of the 2 ohm resistance is on the line, so that's still 0 volts right there. And this, on the other side of the dot, is VA. So I2 is VA minus 0 divided by 2. Okay? And then we look at I3. All right? So I3 is the current through the 4 ohm resistor. The voltage across is VA is plus and VB is minus, so it would be VA minus VB divided by 4. That's all the currents, all right? So that's equal to zero, and so what you have is the first node voltage equation at VA. Okay, so there's the answer in blue. All right, next, Let's write the node equation at VB. Uh, let's clean this up a little bit. I mean, on an exam page, you leave it there because it's hard to clean up, but here we go. Let's clean this up so things don't distract us. All right. So from here, I'm gonna have three currents coming out of the node VB. So I'm gonna call that IA, IB, and IC. And what we know, for node B is that the currents IA plus IB plus IC equals zero. All right, so now it's just a matter of finding what those currents would be. All right, so if I reference the current IA in this direction, okay, so I'm flowing this way, all right, that means I'm assuming that the plus is here and the minus is here. And so to get IA, it would be VB. Let me make that back to black. VB minus VA divided by 4. All right, that's IA. All right. Next, we're looking at IB. All right, so... Stay with me here. If if this is VB, I need to get a dot on the other side of the resistor, right? On this side of the resistor, that's zero volts. What is this dot? Well, if that's VB, then I have VB and a drop of 10. So this would be VB minus 10 divided by 3. Okay, so think about that again. Here's VB. I have a drop. So this point right here is VB minus 10. So the voltage across the resistor is VB minus 10. And one way to do it is VB minus 10 minus zero. 
divided by 3. Okay? And then finally, for IC, we've got these two resistors in series, so the total resistance is 7 ohms. So you can mentally combine that, and this would be VB minus 0 divided by 7. Okay, so we almost have an equation. Here's a common error, is to kind of give up too soon, because those currents sum to 0. All right, so be sure and put the 0 in there. All right, so in red, we have the node equation at VB. All right, so we've talked about this several times. I like to separate out the writing of the equations from the solving of the equations. This is how you systematically write equations that model um, a circuit.